it's not recording yet. All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and we are adding a memory upgrade to this Acer Aspire, Acer Aspire 4520. I think all the Acer series are about the same. So first I'm just going to open up this crucial 2 gigabyte memory upgrade kit because I can never get these stupid plastic packages open. So there we go. That might not be the ideal way to do it, but now we have two memory modules I'm going to put out on the table here. Uh, I don't want to touch the conductive edge. There we go. That's the most difficult part of the job, getting the memory out of the package. All right, now I want to take the battery out because we always like to take the battery out before we start here. And sometimes they have a one-two step, and there we go, one-two. Battery removed. Got a screwdriver. This Acer doesn't have a single memory access panel, nor is the memory buried under the keyboard. It puts it under this large removable panel on the bottom of the computer that gives you access to everything. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws in this, apparently. But it's still easier than removing the keyboard if you have that type of laptop, like the Toshiba demonstration we did a month ago. Because if you have to remove the keyboard, you also have these fairly delicate keyboard connectors that you got to worry about. So we got all the screws out. I'm going to pull it forward a little. Voila. There's our removed piece. So now we're looking at this, these two memory modules here. And memory modules are always spring-loaded into place. All I did is pull back a little on those with my fingernails and popped right out. And I'm going to have to take both of them out before I start putting the new one in because they're stacked on top of each other. So these are two 512K memory modules. There we go. And we're going to replace them with these one gigabyte models, modules. And they were from Crucial. If I didn't mention it, I think they were 20 bucks with shipping. I couldn't have spun that around already, could I have? I guess I'm not paying very close attention. These memory modules are keyed. They have a notch, and you can easily see the notch in the uh, slot, so it's hard to get them wrong. Click. That went right in. Get this other one in here. You have to start them at a fairly high angle. Is that maybe 30 degrees or something like that? You put them in at an angle, and then you press them down. Click. All right, looks to me like both of those are in fine. We'll get our old memory out of the way. Here we go. We're going to put our piece back in. I slid it forward. And we'll just catch the screws as we can. You start nearer to the hinge side so that you don't end up crushing the screws or bulging the screw places if there's a, uh, a misalignment. So we'll get to these ones on the outside edge last. All right, and the reason we're doing this, of course, is running Windows Vista with one gigabyte is a bit questionable on any machine. Hopefully we'll see a difference with these two gigabytes. I don't know how we're doing for time here, but we'll put our battery back in and see if we can get this computer to turn on. Boop, boop, boop. Is that a power button? And we'll see what it says. Well, it is turning on, which is always a good sign. And what did it come up and say? Your computer can't come out of the hibernation. Oh, we had it hibernating. Correct. And we changed the memory. So let's see what... You could cannot come out of hibernation because of fatal error. Could possibly any information that was saved before the computeration will be lost. All right, that's okay. So there's a little moral of the story for when you're doing video. If your computer is in hibernation, it might get very puzzled by the fact that you change the configuration in between. All right, there we go. We're, we're booting up. We're getting to the Windows screen. 
And I don't see the point of talking any longer. So I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and this is a little video to go along with our laptop repair workbook.